Hello everyone, my name is Enzo Macarone and this is Pop Culture. I'm just going to make a short video talking about the only six mangas that I have bought this month in October. I didn't spend too much because I wanted to buy me a new microphone, so I had to use the money for that. So I live in a province that is called Rio Negro and in a city called Cipolletti, and next to that city, crossing a bridge, you have another province called Neuquén, where I have bought these three mangas that I'm going to show you right now. The first one is a cyberpunk classic. I have seen the movie, the short OVA, which is animated, and I have seen the uh, live action movie called Alita Battle Angel. So uh, now I'm starting with the manga, which I heard that is uh, incredible. It has a lot of uh, gore action, and I have heard that the drawings are a masterful pieces of art. So. I'm really excited to read this one. Goom, Battle Angel Alita, number one. The thing is that uh, last month I had bought number two. So I had number two before I had number one. But, <laughs> you know, because I, um, I like to go to the store and see what's there. And if I can find what I want, perfect. If not, I don't. I like that um, adrenaline that is uh, not knowing if you are going to get something or not. Of course then I go and buy online the things uh, that I need, the numbers that I'm missing. I have started already reading number one. I can't believe the differences between the animated OVA, the movie and this. It's totally different. The tone, the drawings, this is much more cyberpunk much more violent, action-packed. I love how many pages in color it brings. The first chapter has a lot of pages in color. And look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It's such an amazing drawing. It's a mixture between manga and comic that I just love. I really love how stylized the drawings are big eyes, small noses, it's very caricaturesque, it is very caricaturesque, very comic-like, so I think I'm going to enjoy this quite a lot, look at that, the city of Salem, such an amazing story, and here in number two we have some computers, and then here we also have Alita. Look at the details in her hair, her arms, his cloth, her cloth. Yugito Kishihiro, it's a master. As soon as I finish reading these two tanko bones, I'm going to make a first impressions of this manga. Then I'm continuing with a series that surprised me. I was not expecting it to be so good, it got me hooked right from the start, it was very controversial when it came out, and it is... Goblin Slayer, number 3. I'm very sorry, but I can't stop reading this. It's, it is very entertaining for me. I like the mystery from the main character. In, in the last Tankabon that I read, they introduced a lot of new characters, for example this elf. It also brings quite a lot of pages in color that I love. I mean, look at it! Such wonderful illustrations! Uh, I would like a poster with these pages. This one, for example, looks very cool. I really want to keep reading this and have more information about Glovin Slayer because I don't know anything about him. We know how he acts, but we don't know his whole story. So I really think I'm gonna keep reading this because to me it is very entertaining. Now I'm going to talk about a manga that I thought was uh, unquestioned, unquestionably good, but apparently there is a big debate and there are people that think that is good 
And there are people that say that this is a complete garbage. I'm talking about the new work of Hiroya Oku. You know what I mean? Giant. I didn't know what it... I had no idea what it was about. I thought this girl was a kind of superhero and that the main character uh, worked with her as a psychic but apparently it had nothing to do with that and she's uh, an actress for adult films a very beautiful one if I may say and she likes to buy her clothes in Uniqlo it, it has tremendous drawings as he uh, as he has accustomed us look at it the amount of detail and work this man does i know he likes to use his computer and that was also a source of debate if it was right if it was wrong but you know when i watch his drawing when i see his drawings I think they are great. They look almost perfect. Maybe he uses techniques with the computer. He takes pictures and uses as a base for his drawings, but it looks great. So apparently this is going to be more a comedy about a, a man who is very pervert and he likes adult films. He just loves adult films. And he loves this uh, adult film actress. And he has a dream. The man wants to be a cinematographer. And you know, for those type of entertainment. And he wants to fulfill his dream. And fate is on his side. Because he gets to know his beloved star. So I don't know what to expect about this. I thought it was a masterpiece because I heard some good things about it from a manga tuber that I respect a lot. Apparently, in my anime list, it has only a 5, so if I if I guide myself for what my anime list says, this is a piece of garbage. But I have started reading the first chapter and I want to keep reading it. But now let's talk about a real masterpiece that no one discusses or debates about. I'm talking about the same author, but now his masterpiece, Gantz number two and Gantz number three. So I started reading Gantz with scans when I was a young man, a teenager, but now I had the possibility of buying the manga. So I'm very happy. And this was also a very controversial work when it came out. We remember about the gore, the use of computers to draw, and also the amount of uh, nudity that it had. But then people accepted it and said that, and, re and realized that it was a very good story too, uh, that was accompanying those shocking gore and shocking nudity. And the main character who was hated at first became a hero for all the readers that continued uh, buying the manga. To me, that I have seen the movie and the movie in live action and the Netflix adaptation, yes, I know, I'm terrible, but I have seen those adaptations and I really like the evolution that this character has. And now I'm going to read it in its source material and I think I'm going to enjoy it much more than watching it in a very short movie. And finally, the last manga that I have bought uh, is Tokyo Go number four. I really like this manga. I have been reading it uh, for two months now. I have read uh, the Tanko One number one and number two. Uh, I'm starting number three and now I have number four to continue the story because I really want to know how it ends. I have also seen the movie, I am a terrible person, and now I want to read it from its source material. And then when you read the manga, you really uh, realize how much better it is, because it has much gore, much more nudity, 
um, and the characters have more time to develop so of course it's better to read the manga so this was a very short video i just wanted to show you what i have bought in october thank you very much for watching the video and see you on the next one goodbye